Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought we could do a super fun like summer get ready with me today, a full transformation. We're gonna do skin, hair, makeup, body, all of it. Some of my favorite products from Walmart. Big shout out to Walmart. Thanks so much to them for sponsoring today's video. A couple weeks ago, I did another one with Walmart where I wore only Walmart clothes for a week and you guys loved it. I loved filming it. It was so much fun. I'll link the video up here, but I literally found so many amazing pieces. So I was like, super excited to work with them again. I found so many great beauty products that you guys are gonna love. Something that I really love about Walmart, especially their website is they just have such a huge array of products that there's something for everyone and they just have so many different brands and really unique things, things that I did not even know they carried. So I'll share with you guys all of my favorites, things I've been loving recently in every category, but let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I make new videos every week on fashion, beauty, lifestyle. I would love to have you be a little part of our family. We are so close to 900K, so make sure to subscribe. Turn notifications on, my towel is falling out of my head, so you might as well just take it off. I'm gonna start with skincare. So we're gonna do kind of like a little at-home facial today. Julian's napping, so I have some time right now. I'm gonna start with the L'Oreal Clay Mask. This is the red one. I will have everything linked down below, but this one is really good for exfoliating. I like to do this a couple times a week, and then we'll follow it up with something a little bit more hydrating. I'll show you. So first we're gonna start and apply this all over. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to detangle my hair. So I like to make sure my hair is super healthy and I try to do as little heat as possible. So I usually only wash my hair like two to three times a week and then I'll completely style it and wear that for a couple days and then wash it. So I take you know, a few minutes every time after I wash my hair to make sure I'm putting in really good products to keep it super healthy. So I love the It's a 10. It's kind of like your heat protectant, your moisturizing oil, your blow dry prep all in one. I've literally used this product for about eight years and I did not know that they sold it on Walmart. So I just do a couple sprays all over and then lightly detangle my hair. I've had so much fun with it. Like, not having extensions and just kind of having it shorter. I think it's such a cute look. Okay, I am going to actually do a quick little 10 minute blow dry while this sits on my face and then we will come back to finish up the skincare. My hair is completely dry. I'm going to just rinse it off with a towel, this face mask, and you'll have fresh exfoliated skin. I like to do a mask, I mean, I would love to do it like a couple times a week, but it just doesn't happen. So usually once a week, mostly on like a Sunday or like even like a Saturday night or something, I like to do like a little at home facial. So I thought I'd show you guys what I do. I usually do two masks, one that's more of like an exfoliating kind of clay mask like I just did. And then I'll show you guys my other favorite one that I do. I have like, tons of these because they're super affordable and they work so well. The Neutrogena Hydrating Masks, it's called Hydro Gel Hydro Boost with Hyaluronic Acid and it's just a little sheet mask, but I love these. They're just a really nice gel. They're super refreshing, but for some reason, I just don't like to spend a lot of money on sheet masks. I feel like you only get one use out of them. So something that's affordable but effective is what I love and these ones have been my favorite for a long time. So you just pull it out of the package. It's kind of messy. Ugh, it feels so good. Because it's so like cooling and refreshing, it will also depuff. So it's great like under the eyes where I get super puffy around my nose because I have such bad allergies all the time. And it's two pieces and so then you put the bottom piece on. And I'll run the leftovers down my neck. Hyaluronic acid is like one of my favorite ingredients <laughs> for moisturizing and like hydrating your skin because I can always tell a difference immediately. It's weird. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit on for a few minutes, finish my breakfast, my smoothie, and then we will start on makeup. Our skin is all prepped, hydrated, even and glowy for makeup. I am gonna apply some SPF. This one's from Olay, it's SPF 35 and it also has shine control. So it's perfect for those super hot summer months, you guys. If there's anything 
that you do that I say it's to wear sunscreen every single day. It makes the biggest difference in anti-aging and it's like this is the easiest thing you can do every day. I've been spending a lot of time outside lately but I still make sure to wear my SPF every single day and if I'm going to be outside like spending time like going on a walk or whatever I even put like a hat on, I put sunglasses on, like I'm a freak about it, okay? Smells so good. I'll meet you downstairs. I know I already applied my SPF all over my face, but I do like to do double duty in a couple areas that I can tend to burn really easily. And this is awesome. It's by Bear Republic. It's their shimmering, what is it? Mineral sunscreen shimmer stick. And it's in the color sparkling rose. So it's this really pretty, sparkly rose gold cream product and I apply it anywhere where I need a little bit of extra SPF. It's SPF 50. So it's really nice to put on your nose. That's where I tend to burn more the top of my ears. We've been going on a lot of hikes and walks and just spending more time outside at the pool or whatever. And it's nice to be able to double up on some sunscreen. So you can apply it with your fingers, which is what I do to my face, or you can just put it right on your skin like that. But I just love how tiny it is. And then that way I'm not like carrying around a huge liquid sunscreen with me. And this I can just throw right in my diaper bag or my handbag and it's perfect. So I put that on in the areas that I need it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. primer. This is the Luminous Matte Makeup Primer. I'm going to apply this all over my skin with my fingers. I'm just using natural light today. And so if you see the light changing, it's just the clouds. I go back and forth on using a primer and not, but in the summer, I really enjoy it because I feel like my skin can be super combination where it's more oily in the T-zone and I can get dry patches all over. And I feel like throughout the rest of the year, my skin is pretty consistent, but in the summer, it's just crazy. So a primer really helps to kind of get that even texture, I feel like, and a kind of even moisture balance all over my skin. So I really love this one from e.l.f. It's not too hydrating, but it just kind of gives your skin that perfect like plump feeling before you put makeup on and then foundation can really glide on and blend easily. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I have it in the color Natural Beige. So I'm just doing dots all over. And I'm gonna stipple it in using my e.l.f. sponge. I bought this the other day from Walmart too. All of this stuff I bought from Walmart. And um, I got home and I was like taking it out of the packaging and like looking at it. And Julian grabbed it out of my hand and like tried taking a bite out of it. He thought it was fruit or some sort of food, but there's like teeth marks in it now. But this is like one of the nicest sponges for the price that I've ever tried. It's super soft and bouncy and fluffy. Okay, so sometimes I do just one layer, but if I want a little bit more coverage, I'll go in with two, just wherever I need more. I've been really into that like model off duty look lately, like I told you guys a couple of videos back. And I think there's a couple different ways of achieving it. And for me, it's evening out my skin just enough. So I don't like to overwhelm my skin with like just a super heavy foundation, super heavy concealer. I like it when you can see a little bit of my freckles and my real skin shows through. And so I think it's all about like playing up the features that you love about your face and about your skin. So for me, I don't feel like my problem area is dark circles. So I skip concealer. I'll just do a little extra foundation. So it's kind of all the same color, but I'm not gonna go in with a heavy concealer. If you feel like your dark circles are more your area that you wanna concentrate on, put concealer on, but then just do tint and moisturizer or like a light layer of foundation on the rest of your face. Hope that makes sense. Like just focus on covering the problem spots instead of covering like all of your skin. And then it just feels better too. Like I don't like wearing like a super heavy full coverage look in the summer because it just feels heavy and sticky. And when I don't wear concealer, then I don't have to worry about creasing and I don't have to do too much powder either. This liquid highlighter from Milani is beautiful. I love it all over the body, but it's also really good for the face. That's what it's made for. So it comes kind of like, it looks like it would be like an eye cream or something. It's unique packaging that I think is really cool. You can put it on before 
makeup or after, like before foundation or after. I think it's more pigmented to do it after you put your base on. So I just put it normally where I would. This is the Sun Glow color, so it's more of like a bronzy shade, which is what I like. Use the sponge to dab it in. But I feel like it used to be hard to find really good, affordable highlight options. But there are so many really good ones now. I'm gonna show you guys a powder one that I've been loving too in a second. We're already sparkly on our shoulders, but we can do a little bit more. With what's left over. To contour today, I'm gonna use a little bit of a cream contour. This is actually just a foundation stick from L'Oreal. The shade is 410. I always feel like a cream bronzer is really pretty when you're doing you know, a less powdery look. I'll layer this underneath the powder bronzer. Do a little bit in the crease of my eye. I love using a foundation for this because I feel like sometimes when you use a cream contour, it can take away the coverage that you just added onto your skin. But when you use a foundation, you know, it keeps the coverage there while applying the color and it gives you a really natural look. And then you can have like a wider range of colors to choose from too and choose something that has that right undertone for you. I love something that's a little bit more of a golden yellow undertone and that can be hard to find in cream bronzers. So using a cream foundation instead, I love. And I love adding it to my eye too because I usually just like to do a simple quick look and skip like a huge shadow palette. So this is awesome. Seriously though, this sponge is so good. It's like can take the place of so many different brushes in your collection. And it's like the perfect shape because you can use that for concealer. I don't know what you'd use this part for, like the flat part, but this is really good for blending out the contour. Maybe for powder. Isn't that pretty though? You can see the bronzer the shiny highlighter, and then just the perfect amount of like a medium lightweight coverage. Walmart has really stepped it up lately. I feel like they really took some time making their website super user friendly and just like fun to use. And one of my favorite things to do is like after Julian's in bed for the night, I'll like bring out my laptop or my iPad and just like have fun online shopping and taking my time with it. Because like during the day, like going shopping, with your little one is not the same as like it used to be. So I love doing online shopping now and Walmart's website is awesome. And they just have so many different brands that you can't get in store, like even high-end brands like Obagi and it's a 10 like I showed you guys, a bunch of different things. Okay, skin is coming together. I think I'm gonna finish it up with a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna skip like translucent or setting powder. I'm just gonna go in with a little bronzer. This one's also from L'Oreal. It's their new collection. So this one's called Bronze Please. And the shade is La Terra. Look how pretty that is. It's a nice matte bronzer. I'm just going to basically set what we just did. I just think this is the prettiest bronze shade. I love it. It's matte, but I feel like it keeps your skin glowy looking without adding shimmer to it, which is what I love in a bronzer. I'm gonna do Milani blush. This is in the shade T Rose. I loved their bake blushes for years and years. Those were like my go-to, but I wanted something a little bit more matte because I feel like we're doing such a glowy look with the cream highlighter. I'm gonna do a powder highlighter that I like a little bit of a matte cheek just so it's not too much like glitter in your face. And this is a really pretty color that kind of gives you that natural flush. It goes really well with the bronzer. I love colors like this that are just like a wash of a little bit of a peachy tone. I love a bright pink, like a baby pink cheek too, but I feel like with lots of bronzer, just a really pretty flush of peach is pretty. I love a peach cheek in the summer months. Okay, and this is the powder highlighter that I am obsessed with. I tore into this right as soon as I got it and I cannot stop using it. So, ooh, I just dug my finger into it. It's by Maybelline. It's the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I have it in the shade Molten Gold. Look how gorgeous that is. It is so pretty. It's like liquid sunshine. And then this brush is from Milani. And this is key, you guys gotta get this brush. I don't, doesn't have any all over blending. 
I feel like it'd also be really good for setting under the eyes, but it's perfect for powder highlighter. Look how pigmented that is. It's crazy, it's gorgeous. And you just need like the tiniest little bit. Skin is complete. Super fast, easy, fresh face. I bet you can wear this to any different occasion. I feel like it looks really put together, bronzy and glowy, but it doesn't look or feel too overly made up for those warm summer days. So moving on to eyes. I like to keep it simple, like I said. So I had that bronzer through the crease. I would leave it just like this or even add a little bit of this to the lid, but I have been loving cream shadow lately. I just feel like it kind of enhances that fresh face vibe. So this one is from Maybelline. It's a color tattoo in high roller. It's a really pretty kind of like espresso shimmery brown color. So I just take my finger and apply this to my lid. It just adds like just the right dimension to your eye without having to do like a full blown smoky eye. Blend it up into that bronzer. It blends really easily. So hopefully you guys can see, it's just like a little light wash of color, but I think it just looks really fresh and pretty. I just love using a quick, easy tinted brow gel. I feel like it really enhances and gives you that like model off duty look. And it really is like super simple and only takes a couple seconds. If you naturally don't have very full brows, just use this as your first step and then go ahead and go in with like a little pencil and fill in the exact areas where you need it. But brushing your hair up and applying a tinted brow gel does a lot more than you might think it would. Okay, that's perfect. And we will finish up with lips. So I love a good lip combo for liner lately. This is the one I've been loving. It's by Revlon Color Stay. What is the color? nude and then i'll do the revlon nude attitude lipstick so this one's like a shade or two darker and then this one's a true nude so it kind of gives you that full pouty plump look but i am specific with where i apply this because i don't like the look of like super overlined lips but i still want them to look full so what i do is i overline on the bottom there's like center bottom right here just in the center there. And then I outline like the top little like M. And I'll overline it. Just a little bit, I leave it to where it's like touching my lip line still. But I find that if you don't line the outside corners, it really can give the illusion of that you just have fuller lips. And when you line the outside edges, it looks like you just drew on lips. So that's what I like to do. I go in with a little brush and blend it out. Like this just creates a shadow. It's almost like contouring your lips. Okay. Then you take the nude attitude lipstick and with this, it's very nude. So you don't want to just like swipe it on and go to town. I just kind of pat it in the center. It's so pretty, isn't it? Okay, go in with that brush and blend it all over. The key is to make sure you blend. And then I'll top it with a lip plumper. This one's from Milani. I'm obsessed with this. It's called Soft Rose. It's just their plumping lip gloss. It's the prettiest rosy nude color. And it doesn't like burn your lips. It's just like the perfect amount of like a minty tingle, but it's not uncomfortable. And I love that it's not glittery. It's hard to find a really pretty like plumping gloss that isn't also glittery. Here's the completed makeup look. I feel like I don't look as tan on camera as I do in real life, but I love this look. I just feel like it's easy to achieve. It lasts all day. It's super affordable. I love looks like this that are just bronzy and fresh faced and you can still see your skin through them, but it just kind of elevates it a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys my 
little low bun. I've really mastered it now and I've been wearing it a lot recently. So what I do is, so if my hair is dirty, the first thing I do is apply Batiste dry shampoo. This is in the tropical scent. It smells amazing. I love anything tropical and summery. I've used this one for years. So you just apply a little bit of this at your roots. I don't need it because my hair is clean right now. You guys saw it in the beginning, but this is where I would apply it. So I lift it up. I do it usually about an inch from my part. Because I like the bun to be sleek, but I don't like it to look greasy, you know? So the dry shampoo just adds tons of volume. It gets rid of any oil if you had that in your hair. And then I take it into a low sleek bun. You can use your comb. a little bit of cream in mine but what makes this look hard to achieve is after you have a baby you lose hair like right in here and like kind of on your part and then after like six months it starts to grow back like crazy and it's really hard to tame it so I'll show you guys what I do so I just put it in the low pony little clear elastic wrap it in the bun just gonna bobby pin the little bit that needs it and then men's hair pomade i was using all of michael's and he was like stop using it you're using up all of my pomade because i use it on myself and on julian so i bought this from walmart it's the dove what is it even called men plus care sculpting paste and you just find it with the men's hair products you do a little bit it's kind of tacky it smells really good like a good smelling guy and you just lightly go over the frizzy areas or the areas with growing like little baby hairs so see how you can see kind of like my hairline like everyone's hairline is kind of uneven like that so now that you have the cream in there, you can kind of lay the hair flat over it. Do a little hairspray. L'Oreal Elnet is my go-to. Need one more. This look is just so nice, not only for dirty hair days, but just when it's hot and you want your hair out of your face, but you still want to look cute. I've really been loving this like all summer. So that's what I'll do. I usually put in a big pair of like chunky earrings or statement earrings. I feel like that looks really pretty, but just this slick back look with the bronzy brown tones, I think looks really pretty. So this is my final look. I will have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. I love all of these different wide array of products and I think you guys will too. So I'll make sure to link everything in order and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.